I don't think they're paying attention. We're gonna look for a dumb angle. I wish he bees dead. And that's a double kill. What's up beautiful people, it's Saladin here, welcome back to my channel, playing another jungle game. Mercury, my favorite go-to junglers, on the grind and ranked, pretty easy stuff. We're starting off in the fountain to get that speed buff on the first hit of our auto. We're racking up for the third auto, which is a big one, to clear as fast as possible. And I think Ra messed up a little bit, but it's fine, I think he got all of that experience pretty easily. Very important not to miss any minions with their one. How have you guys been doing? How was the week for you? It was pretty fun for me. Still adjusting to the new things in my job. Having a lot of fun. Playing The Last of Us 2? Not gonna spoil anything to you. It's an amazing game. You should pick it up if you have a chance to. That's a very, very significant thing for our gaming industry as a whole. A lot of controversy of it. Oh, she's going for it. That's dumb. I'm just gonna smack you if you're okay with that. She missed her once, so that means we can probably kill her. Oh, girl. You're in trouble. <laughs> you can't get out of it. She goes on. That was pretty spooky. But she's gonna die for it. Damn, she did a lot of damage. That really does nothing for either of us. <laughs> the first blood wasn't there. And we spent so much time doing that. It, it would have been better if we just farmed. Um, yeah, but I mean, Ra is doing a great job in mid. I guess, whatever. He's level 4 and level 3 new. What would happen? Never mind. Messed up my skin, by the way. I'm playing with the default Mercury, unfortunately. Don't really like it. He looks weird. <laughs> I don't like his helmet, like, a lot. And his winged boots. What is this? Like, nah. Not a big fan. Uh, but overall, yeah, my favorite jungler. <laughs> Easily. Play Masters rank as per usual. If I'm playing Merc, I'm tryharding. That means that we're playing ranked. Kind of self-explanatory, to be honest. Ooh, what you doing here? Can I grab you? I think I can grab you. You just use your dash. I know you don't have it. Ra is on the follow-up. He didn't join the fight, he just put down the heal. I wish he was present. We would have definitely won that fight, but he's level 5. He's doing a very good... What's wrong with the Zemir? Why is he like that? I don't know. Okay, so what's new on the field? The Golden Blade got buffed, so now you definitely build that fucker on the Mercury. One of the characters that benefit from the Golden Blade probably the most. And you're gonna see how crazy it is. It's, well, it's not that. It's just got really nerfed in terms of gold. And it got some additional stats, so now it's kind of stupid. Usually I see a lot of people just rushing it straight up. Just tier 2 Golden Blade and go from there. And... Not a big fan of that, really. I still feel that Assassin Blessing provides too much for the jungler, and I feel more comfortable at when I'm doing this what I'm used to. Can I just blink grab and will he ult? I don't want to test that, I don't trust him. He's safer just to go for the red buff here, not make some dumb plays that can put us behind. Set up an ambush here. Okay. The cat's just running away. And grab her. She, she's not here. I was sure that she's here. Gonna look on the dual lane. Stay here. Be careful left. On my way. I don't think they're paying attention. We're gonna look for a dumb angle. I wish he bees dead. And that's a double kill. Rise here. I mean, doesn't hurt. 
He's looking for him in mid though. Another thing that I do a lot nowadays on basically all junglers, but it really feels good on the Mercury, is Talaria boots. Just so much speed. They got nerfed for a reason, and I still feel like it's a good item to pick up. Like, at this point, it feels like they should remove or rework them because they're still very potent. And a lot of people started recognizing that, and yeah. Everybody builds them now. The other very popular build right now that you can see is Golden Bow into like stone cutting on the Mercury. Just double speed item. You kind of drop boots. Just forget they exist. Build the three uh, speed items, you get more than the boots. And a lot more worth for the value. Let's try and save Ares here. Just be the presence, not trying to go in. They're still engaging. Oh, she ult him. It's a very un unpleasant time for me. Can I catch her with an ult? I have no vision. That's unfortunate. Shivalanki is not trying anything. Looks like Ra just hit an ult, which is great. Let's try and do some stuff. She should show up at this point. No, she she did she hear me? Coming up? No, she's not coming up. Where is she? What's wrong with her? I mean, it's a little bit of poke. The snack is coming this way. Meanwhile, Hachi is soloing the Shibalanki, which is great. We're going straight for the speed buff. No opportunity here everybody playing it safe it's still masters ranked everybody paying attention to what they should be paying attention to like new working through the choke happens a lot in casuals not gonna happen in masters ranked she had no reason to walk through the choke there and she didn't okay what we got that's new stun him she didn't stun anything we're gonna grab her beats at least no she has no beats i guess so she's just dead. Juke me with a body block on the Ares. Spend a couple extra seconds on that. There's a fight in mid. I want that blue buff. The big snack was just stupid, so they killed him pretty easily. I assume he had no ult, so why would he even engage? But she keeps soloing the Shibalanki, which is amazing. We finally picked up the Golden Blade. We're gonna go into the Rage very soon. Looking for that ult. Didn't grab him. He juked it out pretty well. I'm going in. Oh! Full disengage. Didn't reach her by just a hair. Unfortunate, but it happens. Looks like my team is full on committing. I should not have backed away so hard. But I mean, if I didn't, I would probably be that kill on the Hachi. They would just collapse on myself instead. Look at that clear, that's ridiculous. Well, the fact that I'm critting with a 5% chance is also ridiculous, but... Kind of reminds me of the old Golden, golden Bow. Remember guys, that, it, that actually had crit? With the AoE attacks, oh my god. A small amount, but when it crit, like, it just felt so good. Like, for no reason whatsoever, it had crit to boot to the passive of the AoE attacks. Like, we just had it. Oh, that was golden times. Well, golden bow times. Can we kill him? Did he see me? Oh, I didn't reach for that. Had to dash sideways, that maybe gives us an ability to kill him. That's a good slow, we're gonna grab him. Actually, dashing out. Somebody's coming this way, so we're full on disengage. So our kid can't jump in and blink in and do all these 
things. Oh, that's just Snick. That's just Yorm. That's not a lot to kill us. That's not a lot to even do significant damage to us. Why was he panicking so hard? Damn. I thought Sir Cat is coming my way, but she's all, all the way in the dual lane. Ares is killing something. No reason whatsoever. I think Niwa dropped everything she had. Let's alter. Hmm, a little bit overshot. That's your mold. Completely unwarranted. What is he doing? I can burn this down, actually. He's alone here. I don't know why he did that. What was on his mind? Oh, yeah, give me shell with two. Ouch! That hurt. He cleaned up your arm. Shibalonki's coming this way. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I can just drop this real quickly, get some heal from Assassin's Blessing. Yeah, this Yorm like walks up to me, level 7, expects what exactly? I'm not sure. Big fight on the Emir. We should go for the Gold Fury here. Nah, he's dead. I can't help. They should be coming this way, but they don't. That's weird. Making sure that Sobek doesn't steal this and defend the right lane. He blocked me, really. What you doing, my man? It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. Okay, he gonna murder me. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody might be walking into mid lane here after the fight. Yes, she did. Hello, girl. What you doing? That's your beats. Thank you. I knew she's gonna beats, so I didn't even try to grab her. She still beats. That should be free gold. Even on the ward, doesn't really matter. Good secure by Ra. Going for the blue buff here. Nothing else on the map. We probably can go for the pirate too. Looks like Rai is doing that. Yeah, he still... He first rotates to it, then calls it. You should be the other way around. Can we finish it off before they come? I need to secure that circuit. That's where it beats. I'm gonna die for this. There's a big fight in mid. Sobek is in the blue buff. We're gonna push this out. Grab the tower while they fight for the blue buff, I guess? Nah. Oh, hello, Sir Cat. What you doing? Oh, the pluck. Oh, he bamboozled me with that wall. Am I still gonna die? I think I'm still gonna die. That's Sobek. Blink. Yeah, we full-on disengage. I see him walking towards me. I don't want to be a part of this. Can still two and three me. That'll be more than plenty. Going for some heals on the blue buff. Shibalank is still on the left. Good healing. Gonna stay here for a while. Ares is... Split pushing the tower. <laughs> Ares and the tower. That's a tale for the next 10 minutes. Look at this man just wailing on that tower for solid 40 seconds. That's great. Don't you like when your support just split pushes? It's so awesome.
we need a word of fire giant at this point and just take it it's free and we just kind of ignore it he wasn't mid she's undercover from yorm but i don't think he will be enough if i see or i kill her So big's out of position. He can collapse pretty easily too. Keep him in place. Make him dash. There's the dash. There's the ult. Don't want to take unnecessary damage. Commit to him. Just keep him in place. That's all he's got. That's a little laner dead. That's support dead. That's a ward being put down, and that's a free fire join. I got a lot of objective damage. Shibalunk is coming this way. I'm just gonna keep wailing on. And that Shibalunk being dead as well. Oof. Did he actually walk into Ymir without having bees? That's... That's a big yikes. Ymir is zoning Circuit off of our mid tower, which is nice of him. I would prefer him being here, but we have a mute to tank that, so it's fine. Ymir is not tanking in the heal, instead, just jumping, taking unnecessary damage. Ouch. That's a blink on the solo laner. No, that's a support, never mind. Even worse, actually. <laughs> He's tr he tried to block me, I saw that. Let's keep him in place. So gets on my ass again. Hmm, I kind of noticed she has this pattern. We're gonna keep an eye for it next time. She just waits the whole uh, waits the whole fight to be able to kill me every time. Oh, that wall, man! They got so cocked with it. <laughs> they just gave up. <laughs> oh my god! That was a really bad fight for us. Let's see. Nobody stick around. I guess they're doing gold? No, they're doing pyro. That's all because pending gold. No, they're doing it. I cannot won for some reason. What the fuck? Well, I guess that works too. I couldn't won for the life of me. What the hell? Still looking for Sir Cat. Maybe an angle in it. No, just stop this man in his tracks. Kill him inside his ult. Yep. Ymir is doing this. This thing that he does. Oh, what? I got fucked. She got me mid dash. And I turned 180. Twice. Or it was just weird. I completely lost control over my character. She's looking for me yet again. She's just constantly there, just looking for me. Not doing anything else, really. So dumb. We didn't get the new one, I guess. That's weird. Ymir's just standing in the base doing nothing. And we're not pausing. Unfortunately. If I wanted to kill that, I should have pre beast. I can't understand why my team just can't turn around and run. Hold the fucking W. Ymir is moving, however, he's not playing the game. Master's ranked, too. Very unfortunate, not what I like to see. Put up a wall, man. He doesn't. He blinks on the enemy support instead. Okay, never mind. So, I guess we're not getting anything out of that. He could have blocked the objective. He could have blocked them off inside the tower range. Instead, he did nothing. And he AFK for the past five minutes. Bolting a bunch of people. Grabbing this man. He still has his beats, huh? That's Circuit. That's my blink. 
It's fine. We got an MG. That's pretty great. I'll attack middle lane. Oh man, this is awesome. Enemies in left lane. Oh, this game is way longer than it should be. We're losing our whole advantage because everybody started hitting level 20. Well, except for this Jormungandr. Why is it level 14, man? Wow. <laughs> I did not pay attention to that. This man is not having the fun, I can tell. Look at them going, two people in mid. Just we have Ymir AFK, I'm in left, Rise in base, and they're just going on the five people. Please don't be like that, guys. If you watch me, I hope you learn enough uh, from me being mad at these people. <laughs> that you just... You see how dumb it looks from the outside, right? So make sure that you're not one of those people when you play your games, okay? If you do that and at least a couple people stop doing that in my games, that'll be all worth it, you know? This whole channel is gonna be worth it. Just look at the enemy team, look at yourself. If there's only two of you and five of them are alive and you're past the midline of the map, you shouldn't be there. Plain and simple. Because no matter if you're supported a soul laner or whatever, you're gonna get collapsed on. You're gonna get killed. And I'm gonna get the gold fury here. But my team is not paying attention, so I guess I'll charge my ult up. Ymir, meanwhile, is pushing left. I guess I'm gonna join him, grab this ward on my way out. Yep, the full-on fight, the tunnel vision is real in the mid lane, that means that we're just straight up full committing to the Phoenix because our ADC is a potato and he just hates doing objectives and the only thing that he is good for. From this, we can join the mid fight. Ooh, good crit. Didn't finish him off, but that kind of gives us an in on the Phoenix again. And that should be two Phoenixes. Why am I the one tanking it? There's absolutely no reason for me to be the one tanking it. I'm full committing. I'm probably going to die for it too. Good old by Ra. They had to disengage. And that kind of gives us an ability to... Hold on, disengage. Ooh! So cat. Way too close. Just hold the fucking dubs, man. Why it's so hard? They're gonna keep chasing Ymir and mid, which means that we're going straight up here. Just healing up on this. She just went for a red buff. She didn't come this way. She's taking the red. I'm taking the gold fury. Seems about right. And that's her ult. She did finish off the Ymir. She didn't reveal myself on the gold fury soon enough. I can kill this uh, Yorm if he comes up. I have life steal, so he's not a threat to me. Oh, Shibalunky, my man. What are you doing? Why are you here? This is so stupid of you, my man. I'm sorry. But it's Master's rank. I just cannot abuse that. And casuals? I might have let him slip. <laughs> but not like this. I'm playing to win here. Okay, she's doing the smalls. Also kind of out of position at this point in the game. She should be uh, in our Phoenix line. I wish my team grouped up for the right Phoenix, but nah. I need to push up minions. Let my team do whatever. If they don't want to take objectives, I'll focus on the objectives. I don't care. I need to win this. Actually, yeah. Fire Giant's coming up. Pushing this up. As soon as the fire giant is down, we're just straight up going for the right lane. They should be pushing out the left uh, lane, the enemy team, but they don't. Which means that when we start the push, the fire waves are going to be coming into the phoenix and into the titan. And if we siege this properly, all we had to do just wait a little bit for somebody to have to defend the titan and then we get the phoenix for free. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen considering where Emir is right now. 
Shibalanki just wasted his ult. I'm looking for an Niwa shows herself or Shibalanki. I'm ulting that immediately. There's Niwa. I did not get her. That was bad. That was terrible, actually. Probably gonna cost a fight for my whole team. Hopefully we not lose the game off of that. Look at that 10% HP, Ymir. Just trolling in mid. Four people alive on the enemy team. Three of his teammates are in base. I'm getting a little bit salty, I'm pretty sure you can tell, but like, just look at this. Am I not, am I in the run here? <laughs> like that's not okay. Stands there AFK, he's running around trolling, almost intentionally feeding at certain points. She saw me? Not sure her word. She got a bubble, so I can't really go on her until it's off. Let's poke her out. She's getting out. What you doing, girl? You have your whole kid drop down. You see, when when she's when I'm not engaging someone else and she's waiting for me the whole fight, she got the idea that she killed me that way, like three times, and she can go on me like that. That she's actually better. What a legend! Where he got that idea from? I don't know, man. Oh, look at that Sobek! Locking the minions. That's insane. So that's three phoenixes now. I don't trust this team, so three phoenixes is kind of a necessary thing. Ymir is getting trolled again. Uh. <laughs> I had such a massive brain fart. Holy shit. I blinked right into her smoke. Oh man. I'm losing my mind here with this game. Just stop it. Stop the torture, please! It's three phoenixes down. We should not lose this game. My team is obviously going for the gold that they should. The enemy team just took Pyro, which is... Meh, at this point in the game doesn't really do anything. Gonna word up over here, make sure there's no cheeky business happening while we're taking the gold fury. So then we're able to rotate for the fire giant and hopefully seal the game. That's fire Ani minions with a fire giant buff, three phoenixes down. That's not a win condition, I don't know what is. So her kit is out of position, she just dropped her kit, which means that I am ulting that. She still has her beats, that's not gonna save her though. Yorm is ulting away. And yeah, that means that he have to back. We have a safe in on a Phoenix. Meanwhile, the fire Ani wave is on the Titan. Look at the damage on the Titan. They're defending that Phoenix way too hard. Look at that Titan just going down. I don't care. If they don't do that, I'll just go there. And just finish this. Just let me get me out of this. Like all the way out of this. Thank you. I don't want to go insane anymore. This Titan Ani wave almost would have killed the Titan anyway. All I needed to do just make sure that it happens. So pretty easy stuff here. And don't wail on me afterwards about backdooring them. That's not backdoor. We got all the phoenixes. We got everything. And they are not paying attention to the minions. Well, in terms of builds, uh, Golden Bowl. Staple item now on most junglers and especially on the Mercury. You just never not build Golden Bow on Mercury anymore, which is dumb. I hate it, but that's how it is. It's just too cheap, provides too much 
and it all already was a part of this build before so we're going into boots obviously i'm going to larry boots they're gone now we're going into rage rushing it always almost always on mercury you just want to get that early crit and the best way to do that is rage just provides way too much crit just way 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 too much blood forge for that additional oomph on your hits I tend to go Aussie sometimes when I don't trust my team too hard and I feel like I will have to carry the whole game. But I saw that Ra was making good plays, he was already ahead without my participation. And Hachi in the early game was doing a fight job, then he went full on dumb and forgot that objectives exist. But that happened mid to late game when I already had Bloodforge. Otherwise, I probably might have still went Aussie. Deadbringer to drive that point home with the crit, made those crits fatter make them more impactful pretty much a staple item if you go a crit build as you can see on the shibalanki on the circuit any crit build achievement same idea wind demon because i kind of like that spike in power and attack speed and move speed it feels kind of good to have that atalanta's bow also this new buff feels kind of wonky didn't got use of it at any point in the game comparatively to the enemy circuit her build is okay, you got some CDR, you got a crit, you have no lifesteal so you can't really box, that allowed me to kill her pretty easily whenever I wanted to. But she got a bubble so she was annoying to engage if she has her whole kit up, but as soon as she drops that taunt and ult, she's just, she's just free for pickings. And in terms of kill participation, I have 18 out of 30, which is uh, way more over 50%, which is more than optimal. And that'll be your jungle, Mercury. My go-to jungle, guys. Hopefully another jungle, like some people ask in my comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. Respond to every single one. Ring that notification bell. Put that like and thumbs up in the video. It helps YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people. Much appreciated. And as always, hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.